you just been talking about you were in the Bloods when you started. I grew up on were were Bloods. you doing comedy while you were still in the game? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. No, I think uh, it was just, it was actually funny. I was talking about this last night. That where I grew up kind of taught me the way that I would see the world. Like, uh, uh, and they were just cats that, you know, uh, we love where we came from and, and we had a certain misguided level of respect. I remember everything I know about the world and learn, like I, we, we, I grew up next to this dude who was, we later on found out was a pedophile. He was a, like a Boy Scout master. Like all I knew was that kids would leave his house crying and with candy in their hands. And like, you know, <laughs> like, you want some candy? No, motherfucker, not that bad. <laughs> <laughs> if candy can make you cry, you can keep it. <laughs> but you know, I learned about uh, like religion and acceptance and, and, and you know, police brutality and, and race and almost everything I learned, it, it really clearly shaped the way I see the world. And I, I, I think, like I would never want my children to grow up in that environment because it's like wearing tight shoes so you feel good when you take them off, but uh, it really shaped the way that, like my comedy came from a perspective I got just growing up in those streets. Yeah. Were you really like the witty guy in the gang? No. Some throwing out quips no, no. before you pop was, a guy? It was, it was like, it was, it was funny because when I grew up, you had to, if, if you had a bully, your father would make you fight him. I remember this guy named Clifford used to take my money all the time. My father said, you're going to fight him when you ain't coming to my house. And uh, he said, a bully's a coward. You you punch one in his face like a coward he is and run away. So I believed him and I, I punched Clifford in his face. He beat the fuck out of me. And I haven't, <laughs> I haven't listened to my father or respected him since, but... Um, <laughs> But I, I learned that you, it didn't matter how big you were, it just mattered that you stood up for yourself. And yeah. I think it's, it's like that, like, uh, even in nature, uh, everything seeks the path of least resistance. And so I think that's, that's, a, that, that's a thing, even on stage, I'm never really kind of intimidated. Like, the worst thing you do is not like, yeah. so. So it was never like, oh, there's a bullying? Call the parents. Yeah. It was, it was never, never that. call the parents. It was never that. That was kind of how we handle it. Yeah. <laughs> right. it, 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 like you can, have all these anti-bullying campaigns, you can tell people not to, there will always be people who, who prey on the weak, no matter what. Mm -hmm. And the only way you can stop them is to make them, make sure that they know you're not an easy, easy target. And I think there's, there's no circumventing that. And we have, we live in a society that tries to make everybody the same. Like we pretend to be the same, but we feel differently about that. I remember, I'll think again, but I remember the first time I was uh, four, I was in the fourth grade. And uh, I, it was the first time I ever got called the N-word. So we go to this street called Alvera Street, me and my friend Donald Stu. And uh, Alvera Street is the oldest street in Los Angeles, and we're, it's where we all went on field trips. So um, at the end of the trip, I say, I want some ice cream. So we go to this shop, and I go to this, uh, the, I walk in, me and Donald, and I go, hey, um, um, I want some ice cream. He said, we don't serve it, in words. And I go, well, they can I have strawberry? <laughs> like, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't, I didn't, I, didn't, I, didn't, I, I had no, I had no idea because I heard the it was word. a Neapolitan or something. <laughs> right, right, right. Is that the N word? <laughs> right. I had Neapolitan. No, but I had heard the word my whole life because my parents were saying it. But I never had heard it directed to somebody. And I remember um, coming home after, like Donald said, he's talking about us. And I'm like, they make ice cream out of us? Like, I really thought <laughs> I was really that naive. So I went home and I told my mother, I said, uh, I was upset. She said, what's wrong? I said, this man called me an N-word. And I said, she said, are you? And I said, I don't even know what it is. And she said, then how could you be upset? It's not what somebody calls you, it's what you answer to. And it's, it's, it's to me, um, the way, you know, like, like I said, I've seen the world. And I think in terms of bullying and things like that, if you have a good idea of who you are, it's, it's almost impossible for somebody to define you for you. So uh, it, comedy has always felt like that kind of through line for me. Nice. Well, this has turned into a PSA. <laughs> <laughs>